I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2022 Publish. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles by suit in numerical order and put your winds and dragons together. Then look for the predominant pattern. Identify a category in the booklet that will use most of your tiles. A good guideline is seven tiles. If you have seven tiles towards any particular category or hand, go for it. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to say we're the dealer for each one, and we're going to roll the dice to determine where the wall's broken so that we can have a prevailing wind for each of the random pulls. So we're east. I'm going to roll the dice, and I rolled a six. So if we count from ourselves, one, two, three, four, five, six, south is prevailing. So we're just going to say south is prevailing for this first random pull. I'm going to put twos up on the rack and I'll get 14 tiles. We have a white dragon news. In dots, we have one, four, five, seven, eight. And in cracks, we have a pair of twos, a three crack, and an eight crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would play news lineup. We have a nice sequence going and we have all the wins. So I would probably use this with maybe the two and the eight and pass that. This is a little bit risky. If our opponent is in cracks and honors, that's going to be a really nice pass. But you got to focus on your hand first and then pass as defensively as you can with your remaining tiles. I would play news lineup or at least gather for that and see how the hand develops. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Let's roll the dice again to see if we have a different prevailing wind. I rolled a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be west. And we're assuming that they're going to roll a number that's going to keep them at their wall. If you want to know more about breaking the wall, look for the lesson playlist with the fundamentals. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have a west and a south. West is prevailing. We have one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, pair five. In dots, we have an eight. In bams, we have two, four, five, six, eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would play a mixed suit hand, maybe Scotch Hopper, one, three, five in one suit, two, four, six, eight in two other suits. So I would break those up, focus on cracks, keep the evens. Now I would not pass those and I probably would not pass two fives together either. We have two four here. Maybe we could do either big two four six eight or little two four six eight. These are both mixed suit hands. 
on page 23, big 2468 is 2468 in two suits with a pung of a different number in each suit with a pair of owner prevailing wind. So maybe we can keep the west. We're east. West is prevailing. The other thing we could do is maybe little 2468. Two or three suits. So that's why we can maybe keep that too. 2468 pungs with a pair of either twos or eights. So then maybe we could pass those three right there and play 2468. Now one thing we could maybe do, this is a little painful because I would think too, we have wins with cracks. We have a pair in there. We could play dazzle, five pairs in one suit with news and then pass defensively here. Maybe that would be better. One suit in honors is a really great flexible pattern because you can play all throughout the book. You could play pairs, sequences. You could play a gate hand. You could even play maybe a jewel hand or even Chinese tea hands if you get dragons and the right wins for Chinese tea hands. So I think I would focus on one suit in honors. We even have a run here, one through five. So I think I would discard those. Lots of options. What would you do with these tiles? Write it in the comment section below with pull two. I rolled a 12 multiples of four, one, two, three, four, eight, 12. And that's north. So north, north is multiples of four. So north is prevailing this time. We have a white dragon, one, four, seven, nine, and bams, pair nine, two, three, six, eight, and cracks, one, two, four, nine, and wait, did I say cracks? Those are dots. Three, four, six, eight, and dots, one, two, four, nine, and cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play Scotch Hopper. One, five, seven, nine in one suit with a pair of ones or nines. Two, four, six, eight in two suits. You know, what we could do is even keep these cracks because we might even be, be able to play Heavenly Hopscotch instead. One, three, five, seven, nine in two suits, two, four, six, eight in a third. So we could let those go for the first pass. One, three, five, seven, nine in two suits, two, four, six, eight in a third, no pairs. So we wouldn't be able to use that, but we have a one and a nine. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.